This is um, Dr. Raghu Arya GHU, Raghu R. Sundaram, trying to show um, something about uh, the organization uh, we have uh, in brief, SOPTRI, S-O-B-T-R-E-E, -E, uh, Social Organization for Behavioral Educational Employment. That's how it goes. Um, the purpose of this organization is um, to spread the education on sleep, especially India is being a developing country. There's a lot of problems they are facing uh, on several issues due to lack of knowledge of sleep among medical providers as well as lay public besides governmental agencies. So this is struggle we are making to improve the situation and uh, the, our organization um, uh, is uh, asking for help uh, to spread the education on sleep in consistent with um, the philosophy of American uh, Society of Sleep Medicine and uh, Foundation for Sleep Medicine in America and uh, that's how that's where we are introducing uh, our needs by showing this uh, brief uh, video and uh, appreciate your kind attention. I will um, uh, illustrate the slides uh, in a quick way as you see as you view the slides which will uh, illustrate the reality and the difficulties we are facing due to lack of sleep education and what the SOPTRI organization is trying to accomplish uh, to achieve the goals inconsistent with the philosophy of uh, American Association of Sleep Medicine and the Sleep Foundation. These are the elderly people uh, whom we uh, take care and uh, advise them about how many hours of sleep uh, we need. These are our volunteers. They get paid a uh, minimum amount, but they do excellent job in spreading the education. As you can see, this woman with sleep disorder sleeping in the midst of the busy clinic where a noise is going on. These are our senior citizens who are trying to educate about uh, sleep and uh, problems with related to sleep disorders. We also deal with um, school children trying to improve their attention span by advising the parents and the, as well as the teachers that more sleep is needed especially in younger children depending upon the age we attend the schools and give the importance of the health education sleep education and hours of sleep they need so that they won't be sleepy while in the classroom and these are the poor people we deal with as you can see they are very poor the cattle is and everything goats are there but this is the poverty that we're trying to overcome there um, these are the college students whom i am interacting uh, to educate them about the sleep sleep disorders uh, and these are the high school students we go and talk to them one-to-one -one basis in a uh, free um, style manner these are the local churches where we visit and tell them uh, about the need these are the um, college students girls um, college students we also approach them and educate them about sleep and also these kids of different ages um, we are trying to handle and tell them the problems related to sleep sleep disorders uh, and um, as you can see there are a lot of accidents due to several issues like alcohol uh, lack of sleep lack of sleep education and the resultant lack of regulatory loss so that we see more and more accidents like this and the human tragedy related to um, the lack of sleep, lack of re education and lack, lack of governmental regulations. To control all these uh, uh, disasters that is happening, um, it has become a major public health issue for which we are seeking help. On behalf of the organization SOPTRI um, with whom um, I am working uh, closely and applying for help and for uh, funds as um, uh, as needed uh, to improve the quality of work we are doing.